the rise of port wine, how the Marques de Pombal transformed the industry. In 1703, the signing of the Methuen Treaty between England and Portugal created even more incentives for the port wine trade. The treaty stipulated that Portuguese wines imported to England should pay one-third less tax than French wines. Importantly, port wine from the Douro region was much more to the liking of English consumers than the red wine of Portugal from Minho. English and Scottish merchants were not alone in the port wine trade. Dutch and German families were also involved. However, the sheer importance of the English market meant British merchants dominated. The second decade of the 18th century marked the start of 30 years of rapid growth in port wine exports and great prosperity for both Douro region producers and Porto-based wine exporters. But over time, this rapid demand growth led to speculation and fraudulent practices, like adding elderberries to poorer wines to give colour and an illusion of quality. In the 1750s, a sharp decline in demand and oversupply in the Douro caused complications. In 1756, the Marques de Pombal, as Portugal's Minister of State, stepped in to restore order. Pombal immediately imposed state control over the port wine trade through a monopoly company, the Compania Geral da Agricultura das Vinhas do Alto Douro. He also delineated the port wine region and marked its boundaries with 335 stone pillars. In 1757, he undertook the first comprehensive classification of port vineyards, authorizing factory wines of the highest quality for export, while restricting branch wines of more modest quality to the domestic market. Pombal's draconian actions, though unpopular at the time, resulted in improved port wine quality and a new era of growth and prosperity for producers and exporters. By establishing the geographic boundaries of the port wine region, classifying vineyards by quality and setting production standards, Pombal was a visionary precursor to the modern DIOC, controlled designation of origin concept. These pioneering measures laid the foundations for today's sophisticated port wine legislation.